Today on Woodworking with Wes, we're at our other shop and we're going to be building a safe table saw sled with the five cut method. Um, the five cut method is a way of making sure that your table saw sled is as square as it possibly can be. But there's a few things we have to do before we get to that stage. The first thing we've got to do is put on the runners. Now what I've done here is I've got a little spacer to make my runner come up to the level of the saw and I've done that on both of my runners and I've made these runners out of white oak so that they have very little expansion and contraction they're going to be able to slide back and forth in our runners really in our uh, grooves really good we're going to situate them there we're going to put our sled right tight against our fence and we're making our table, uh, our sled, so that the saw blade is off center. It gives us more support out here as we cut things off. We'll start off by just putting a couple of staples down through the top of the sled into our positioned runners. Now we, like I say, we put a little spacer underneath here to push our runner up high and we're just going to position that there we're going to put our sled on and we're going to bring that flush to our two runners put on our glasses so we can see what we're doing and we're going to just put a couple of staples through into our runner. Four and a quarter. Okay, we should be able to turn our sled over and have our runners attached. And they are. Okay, we're going to countersink some screws and put some screws in here to hold our runners real good. We want to do it from the underside, but we wanted them to be positioned, and that's why we did our uh, little staple from the top side. We're going to put some screws in the bottom side of our runners. We're going to countersink some holes. We're going to put four screws along the bottom of our runner here. We have set our countersink bit to allow us to put a screw there without having it go clear through on the top side of our sled. After countersinking our holes, we use a hand screwdriver to put in our screws so that we don't split our runners with too much pressure. We just snug it down good and tight and allow those to hold our runners in good place, in good shape. next step in assembling our table saw sled is to put our back fence. We have made our back fence out of two thicknesses of three quarter inch fir plywood. We've put a little cut into them to make a nice hand hold. The first thing we're going to do however is we're going to put a little round over edge around to make it nice and soft for our hands and we're going to put it along the front edge so that we have a kind of a little gap there for any sawdust so it doesn't get in the way of our material. When we go to cut we want to be able to get this our material tied up against our sled and by having a little gap underneath there if there's any residue or sawdust it hides underneath there and stays out of the way. So that's the next thing we're going to do. Put a little route on here and then get ready to put our sled on.
we're going to now attach the back fence and the front fence on our saw. Our back fence, we are going to screw from underneath with a couple of screws. Our front fence, we're going to nail from underneath on that piece and face nail this piece on here for a double thickness that will be a good strong fence on that. But let's go ahead and start by putting the back fence on. We'll start by clamping our fence to our sled. screw at one end and we're only going to do one screw for right now because that's part of the adjustment we'll be making when we do our five cut to square. We'll go ahead and put a screw at this other end. Okay, our back fence is attached. We're installing the back fence by just putting some nails from underneath. And then we're going to apply a second back fence flush with the underneath side and centered on our piece that we've already put in. One of the things we want to make sure that we're not going to do is put a nail where our saw blade is going to go. We don't want to hurt our saw blade. We'll come back and give some initial na uh, additional nails after we make our first cut on our saw blade. But there, our sled is coming along just fine, looking good so far. The next thing we need to do is to make our initial cut in our blade. So let's, with our blade, let's turn our saw blade up. And let's make a cut, and we're going to go cut through our back fence all the way to our saw and into our front fence so that when we have a piece of stock sitting here that our saw blade will cut clear through. So let's just give ourselves an initial cut. Looking good so far. We're a little sticky, but we're going to be able to take care of that in just a minute. But let's square up our back fence with our next cut. We're going to crank our blade up a little bit more so that it will make a cut clear through. Okay, you can see how the bottom side of our sled, our runners are in place, our saw cut it goes all the way through. That's how the bottom side looks. One of the things we're going to do right now before we go any further is we're going to put some paste wax on our runners and across the bottom of our sled to make sure that it rides through the saw smooth every time that we do it. Now 
Now that we have made our initial cut, we're going to check for square. We're going to put it down against our fence and along, we inserted a 1 8 inch board in our saw cut to see how we are and we are just so dead on that it's just going to be almost impossible to improve on that because of the way we set it up, but we can do better. And we're going to show you how with a five cut step method how we do better. The first thing we do get our saw set up here. Now our saw sled will hold up to an 18 and a half inch piece of wood. So what we've done is we have cut an 18 inch square and what we're going to do is we're going to make a cut all the way around and then we're, once we get it all the way around we're going to take a slice off. If we're out of square at all it will show up by cutting the four steps. We're going to square up our back fence using the five cut method. By the five cut method we cut all the way around our square and then take one final cut off and the distance in that, or the amount of difference in that uh, final cut will tell us exactly how much we're off on our uh, fence. So let's go ahead and make our five cuts and measure and see where we are. bottom and with a thickness gauge let's see how far we're off. If we're right on these measurements will be the exact same. It says we're 92 one hundredths of an inch on this side and we're 93 no 92 one hundredths of an inch on that side. We can't do better than that. We've got it right on our very first try. Now if we were off what we would do is we would set a block right here, clamp it down, and take a thickness gauge and measure the thickness that we needed to move this back fence in order to adjust our thickness. But because we're right on, we're going to finish tying down our back fence with some additional screws through here by countersinking and putting some screws here. Put a couple of additional nails in our back fence. Now that we know where our saw blade cut is, we can get away with that. Well, there we are. A really nice table saw sled for this table saw. A table saw sled is such a nice addition to any table saw. It's a great jig to have. It enables you to make really good square cuts as you're using your table saw for cutoffs. It's always just so nice to have a good table saw sled. And as you can see, they're not that hard to make and they're a great addition to your shop. We'll see you next time on Woodworking with Wes.